Today is April 11th. Pastor is saying to us, Water Carrying Cloud. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 8 of the New American Standard Bible. Drip down heavens from above and let the clouds pour down righteousness. Let the earth open up and salvation bear fruit and righteousness sprout with it. I, the Lord, have created it. Jude in his epistle appealed to God's people to earnestly contend for the faith against the attack of false teachers. In the fourth verse of his inspiring epistle, he explained why we should aggressively defend the truth because some godless people had crept in stealthily. These are people who distorted the message about the grace of God in order to excuse their immoral ways, and those who disown and deny Jesus Christ as the supreme authority and Lord. Now, notice what he says about these same people in verses 11 to 12. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feast of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Jude chapter 1 verses 11 to 12. He calls them clouds without water, carried about by the winds, trees without fruit, twice dead, pulled up by the roots. But what does the Lord call us? First, look at Isaiah chapter 61, verse 3. It says, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. We are trees of righteousness. producing fruits of righteousness. Also, each one of us, according to the Bible, is a cloud. We are clouds of glory and clouds with water. That's very significant because John chapter 7 verse 38 says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. We are fountains of living water. From your cloud, righteousness and salvation reign upon the earth. As a water-carrying cloud, you pour forth righteousness and salvation in the earth, just as our theme verse says. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I'm a water-carrying cloud, and I stay perpetually filled with the Holy Ghost, ministering in the Spirit, singing and making melody in my heart to the Lord. From my innermost being flows gushers of living water. I rain down righteousness, salvation, healings, prosperity, and victories. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read John chapter 4, verse 14, and Isaiah chapter 45, verse 8 of the New International Version. Salvation. salvation. If, you've if you've never, never received, received Christ, Christ into your heart, heart. If, if you've, you've never, never experienced, experienced this is life, life of Christ, Christ that that into into your moment. Moment. This, this is your moment. moment. Say, say these words. words. Say, say oh Lord, Lord God, God I, believe I believe in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the Son, Son of God. God. I, I believe He died, he died to, to save me. me. I, I believe, believe God, God raised, raised Him from, from the dead, dead. and He's alive, alive today. today. I, I confess, confess with, with my mouth, mouth. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is the Lord, Lord of my, my life, life from, from this day. day. And, and by, by my faith, faith in him, him I, I receive eternal, eternal life into, into my heart, heart into, into my, my spirit. spirit. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord for, for saving, saving my soul. soul. I, have I have eternal, eternal life now. now. I'm a, I'm a child, child of God, God now. 
I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.